Hello everyone, we're back. It's episode 14 in our Subnautica Let's Play. Now I'm just going to continue exactly where we left off and that was getting our base sorted again. Um, because there was a couple of bits with our base which is kind of perfect at the moment. Um, well, getting to a state of perfect. But there's also a few bits that are kind of niggling at me and annoying me. Um, so I want to get those fixed now. So we're going to take down a few bits that are stopping us progressing to where we'd like to progress. Right, let's get these built. Anything we're taking down, we're just building in our junk room at the moment. It will become more than that in time, but at this moment in time, it is just a junk room. Where's our battery charger? There it is. I don't know if I will. The more I've been thinking about it, the more I've been thinking, should I have that as our bedroom or not? I'm still in two minds at the moment. Um, we have got to clear this out, though, annoyingly. Again. Oh, this is where it's going to get annoying. So I've really got nowhere to put them. Hopefully I've gathered enough items from that locker that I can just make another quick locker now. I can, and fate has been kind to me. So the idea for this episode, Ely, uh, Ely? really is, I should say, um, a chance to a chance to get ourselves not. We're never going to complete our base at this point here, but if we can get it organised, get the shape kind of together, I'll be very happy with that. And then from that. We can decide what we're doing next, what direction's going next. We need to get more upgrades, that's the be all and end of all of this. Because at this moment in time, we are not able to dive anywhere near the depth I thought we'd be able to. We have got radio messages we need to listen to as well, and those beacons, so we'll listen to those in a time. There we go. Just keep getting all of these together. And I'm pretty sure if you guys are watching this episode, you'll learn from my other Let's Play, The Forest, that is actually, that is coming up to its final episode this Friday. So don't forget to check that out if anyone's been following that. It's been a long old road in that one. That was actually my first ever Let's Play. And it's coming towards the end of it. Sad, but nice it is coming to the point that it's coming to. out and that's all of that done so yeah what it means is although um, that let's play is going to be over and done with we'll have this let's play running it opens new possibilities for the channel which can only mean good things um, yeah all of that there we go haven't got room for the rebreather but you know what what I might do, I know I'll just put these materials away, but let's get another one of these built. It's because that friggin' poster, isn't it? Alright then, we'll put it there. What do we need? Quartz and titanium, I think it is. have on us for now. Everything else can kind of go away. Okay, let's just start planning. Let's get out there. We've got to deconstruct a few bits. Nothing too major. Deconstruct this solar panel, which will put our base in jeopardy a little bit. Okay, let's see if this works. Go for a two way construction area. It does work. 
I've only just realised the problem inside is going to be now the fact that uh, in our walkway there is probably a poster. Let's get our solar panel back on. We don't want to risk anything going amiss with that. So although our power is not perfect, why, why, why? Oh, it's probably easy to use that one more bit of titanium if I wanted it to. Yeah, look, there's our poster. I don't see the point in these posters in the game. I know it adds that little effect to it, but they are a little bit blurry. Let's grab all that titanium. We're going through a lot of bits at this moment in time. There we go. Okay. That's what we're working with at the moment. We've got our scanner room out to the left. Do I like that going out to the left? I kind of do. But at the same time, I, I don't know. If we're going with that, we need something to come off this side, on the right hand side here. So maybe... Maybe we do have something coming off of there, but what do we have? What do we have? Observation? It's nowhere near as big though, is it? So for me personally, I think that would look out of place. that scanner room elsewhere. No. No, 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 we won't. I've got a better idea. I think. I don't know. Let's try it. How do I fit a vertical connector? Okay, so they go onto there. So how do the multi-purpose rooms connect? Do they just go one on top of the other? I'm going to assume so. Oxygen. Oh yeah, forgot all about the fact I'm underwater. Okay, so we need titanium, and we do need food at this moment in time. Well, those things are starting to grow. 57% already, very nice. Okie dokie. Um, okay. Let's go and get some food. Pick up some titanium along the way, because we know we're going to. It seems to be bloody everywhere can only work in our favour and if I remember rightly this is actually going to be a very a good opportunity to cook some fish as we're going it works I'll tell you what easy enough would it be as well come on play the game I think even though they've been hit and they're now cooked, that that uh, gravitational device would still put them in. We are going to need the bladder fish as well. Okay, so let's cook these guys. Oh, not cook, because I can actually now. Let's just eat them. Let's get some water made up. I'll tell you what, we'll go and do it in there because then we can listen to those beacon signs that we've got coming as well. And then we'll go into those um, almost like greenish algae type places and we'll shoot along the bottom and see if we can find some scrap metal to continue making our base. Uh, 
priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attack. Live Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, that was Life Pod 13, that one, wasn't it? 13, carrying high priority passenger. Okay, only 175 metres down. That is actually reachable. Oh, I really don't like that thing hanging. Oh, I don't know. I've got no idea for it, though. I've got no idea. Anyway. Scrap metal time. It's not difficult to find. In fact, we've already found some. There it is. Now, we only get this metal salvage as well. I don't know why I keep calling it scrap metal. But from the metal salvage, we only get about four bits of titanium. I think. Find out more in a moment. But this area should be teeming with it because these fish love gathering it together. Now, the only issue is it runs the risk of obviously being chomped on by them as well. But as long as we're quick, we should be okay. And the more titanium we have, um, the more opportunities obviously opens for us within our base. As you can see, we had a lot of it before. We used pretty much most of it up already. And we've only just started to progress our base. Now, I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't we really be progressing in the game, trying to find out, you know, more technologies and upgrade? Yes, you're right. But the only way to progress in this game is by really getting your base together, getting food, basically making food just easy. You don't even worry about it anymore. I know they're on my tail. I'm trying not to worry about them. Just go. I'm trying to act calm. Inside, I'm screaming. So yeah, the, the more self-sufficient we make it, the better and easier it will be for us. I'm probably getting to my limit at the moment. Getting to our oxygen limit. Still so many bits as well I have not scanned. Oh yeah, we've still got to finish this little bit off here as well. The farm is definitely not staying like that. I can't stand that. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, four lots of titanium to every bit of metal salvage. And we are going to be using a lot of this. Now, I think I've got a cool little idea for what we can do here. I'm not sure yet. That should be more than enough to get us going for now. Yep. And we weren't out there long searching, so that is good going. Okay, I don't know how that works inside, but we'll go and check that out in a moment. Okay, now what I want to try... One there. to be higher than that. So what I wanted was for that to connect to it. Ah, oh, which it still can. I've got an idea. Is that going to be too high for it then? I hope not. I think it's just too far out for it. Annoyingly. Like. 
No, it's not. That's worked. It's worked. Hopefully we've got enough. We do. It's good. And then what I'm going to do. One there. One there. Oh, it's looking good. We need lights. We need a lot of lights. But let's get inside and see what that actually means. Because I've got a feeling we are probably borderline um, close to having some leaks in here. Ladder? No? Okay, we may have an issue. We may have issues. I knew it was going too well. Okay, let's get back out there. So they are definitely connected. How on earth do we connect them to each other, or can you not do that? Tell you what, let's put this in place for now. Probably haven't got the titanium. Oh, I've got the titanium. It's the quartz I haven't got for it. So let's go and get the quartz. And work out why we can't go up. Uh, that is not where I need to go. Quartz, quartz, quartz. There we go. Take a few of that, actually. Right, let's get inside here and see what's going on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because these are the rooms that we're going to make into. So how have we got to this point here? Is there no middle? There is, but then why is that there? Okay, now I'm going to detach this one again and put it to the middle and see what's going on there. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I am very indecisive in this episode. I wonder if you have to attach the ladder. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. That is not how you do it. Is what I'm trying even doable? Connects two floors. It is doable. I was just being stupid. Uh, what do you need? Two bits of titanium, no problem. And that ladder takes us straight down into this section. Can we go down a further? Yes, of course we can. Okay, now we are connected straight off the bat. One of these rooms is going to be our bedroom. Don't know which one yet. Climb down. Boom. Straight into this room down here, which is just our odds and sods room for now. So let's get out there and let's have a little look. Uh, we don't need this here now. Okay. do need to do is just get a couple of reinforcements in just in case what was it, that's quite a lot of titanium but it is worth it so let's get the lithium so we don't want all our hard work to be for absolutely nothing run out battery quick sorry I keep pressing the wrong button keep pressing R3 to sprint no man's sky for you uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. yes
for that battery on charge. There we go. Okay, let's finish this reinforcement off. Plus 7 to hull strength, total now 18.8, .8, so we're all good at the minute. I'm hoping it's now daytime as well. I've got a feeling it is, for some reason it feels brighter. Something else I was just thinking of. What do you need for that? You need silicon rubber, titanium. Got the silicon rubber, I think. Now these bulkhead doors, I'm going to assume, um, stops leaks in certain areas. rubber and it looks like we're going out for more titanium which we're going to do anyway and then hopefully by the time we come back our farm will have progressed a little bit more as well uh, let's go straight to that green area because we were raking it in over there They know. They know what we're here for. Oh, look, see? You picked it up. Can't snatch it out of his mouth. And that was a brave moment, just charging at him like that. But I figured if he's got that in his mouth, he's probably not going to take a chomp out of me. Oh, there we go. Ah, more. Non-functional. Okay, it's just something to sit in the base. I'll take it though. Forklift non-functional, I'll take it. Non-functional. Hey, it'll make it look good. More metal. More metal. See, so many around. And that's us forward. Let's get it back to our base. Now, this episode, I know I've, I've said it before in my other Let's Plays. I've probably even said it in this Let's Play as well. It's so difficult to find a perfect balance when it comes to a survival game. Do you go out there adventuring? Or do you stay and do some bits to your base? Because both of them is such a vital part of a survival game. Um, you've got to have that perfect balance. I know some people like to see both. Some people only like to see um, the base building and others... That looks... I mean, it looks great, but it looks a bit... Oxygen. I don't know. I like it. Welcome aboard, Captain. But yeah, I, fingers crossed this episode isn't um, the most boring thing imaginable for you guys. So unfortunately, you do need these types of episodes every now and then. These base building ones. What I'm hoping though, right, that's all our titanium that we can make for now. Let's finish off this door here. Okay, let's check out. That is pretty cool. We'll leave it open for now. Just so it's nice and easy to get through. We've still got another two to put on either side as well. That is pretty cool. At least, technically, if you put those on, the middle section we just climbed up to is, uh, well, have we just gone straight up to the top? So hard to tell. Right, this is the middle section. It'll protect this middle section. Okay, now if I wanted to just climb up to the middle section, how do I do that? Like that. And then up again, and we're at the top. What do we need to uh, get these finished? Titanium and enamel glass, which we haven't got just yet. I don't even know how you go about getting that. Um, we'll worry about that in the long run. That's 
taking the straight back up again. That is going to get annoying. We might need to think of a different way of dealing with that. Don't mind one ladder, but two is becoming a bit annoying. How would I do that? How would I... Hmm. I had an idea. Be fair, surely if I put a ladder in there, yeah, but I want it to be faster than that, really, don't I? Hmm. Now we'll figure that out in the long run. Okay, let's start getting this side finished. So, okay, I've got an idea for this bit. It does mean do construction. It's fine. How much crap have I already got on me? Man, they take up a lot of space. That's going in our flat room. Sign, a sign. How do they take up so much space? That's the same size of our torch, and that's only one tiny slot. Okay. There we go. I don't think they can join up to that because they've got the drones on the side, so I am just going to have to go around this bit here, I think. Can anything join to that side there? Oh, it can. Okay. So let's just have that bit on there for now. We'll try and catch it up. Just because this bit here was one of those areas that was really bugging me. Because it didn't look the best. Um, we will go another one along there. Hopefully I've got the titanium for this. Got we up eating for a bit. And we are going to need that there. Uh, food run, titanium run. But our base is looking pretty good, pretty decent. It's looking bloody monstrous. Big. Very big. Um, this way. Should have grabbed him. Let's have a drink of water. That will keep us going for a little while. Oh, we need oxygen. Oxygen. Still got to be brave at some point and go for that big ship. Just it looks close, but that's actually quite far out. Uh, oh, here we go. So, a bit more titanium, I suppose. Look at that perfect timing. It's going to annoy me. He's literally just gathered that. Quartz as well, why not? What the earth is this? Oh, heat, heat damage, right, away we go. A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. More over here. I'm not going to take a risk. Um, it looked like some sort of hot pocket cave whole thing. Probably got some good resources in it. Um, hence why the danger comes with that. Okay, that's all we can carry for now. More 
tool down there. Right, we'll go, we're going to get this side finished off, and then I think it's probably going to be best if we, um, in fact, not best, what I want to do is go and check out that other little the area that was shouted out to us. That important person, they were saying, that's gone down in pod 13. So we're going to check that out. Maybe he's live, maybe he's one of the lucky ones. And the only reason why I want to go to that pod, hopefully find some new tech, obviously. But it's not actually that far down. Ah, oh, that's how you make enamel glass. Stalker tooth. I've got a feeling those stalkers are um, the big boys roaming around that look like crocodiles but aren't crocodiles. The ones basically we were swimming around with a minute ago. Now, other than giving them a whack in the face, which I don't fancy doing, I don't know how he's supposed to get those teeth. Um, so that's going to be fun to find out. Okay, we're getting there. Some of these as well, we will make into... Um, what will we make them into? We'll make them into glass in time. But while titanium's so easy to get hold of, we'll just crack on getting some of this done like this. We are going to have to get our, uh, our whole strength back up again. So our base strength is not looking good at the minute. And some of these as well are going to tee off. I don't know where yet, but they will tee off. Oh yes. Last one. There we go. Let's have a little look. I mean, it's looking pretty good. I wonder if we could... That's a bit too big for the area. Oh, but I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. no sense to me. You'd think that's how this whole this whole deal works, but it's fine. It's fine. We'll adapt. Get rid of that for now. You saw where I was going with it, though. Okay, our oxygen's running out. So let's let's get back inside. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, right, let's put some of these bits away for now. Because I think base-wise we're actually looking pretty good. Let's put the poster in there. I still don't know why I'm carrying that blooming poster around. Let's take this battery out just in case. We need it at some point. So we need an area for us to get this power together. A nuclear power room or by a reactor room so I don't think we've unlocked the nuclear one yet now I'm thinking this in time will be like our storage room we'll make the second level almost like our canteen third level is going to be our bedroom we'll make these into glass and then we'll have either side the uh, what are they called? The indoor farms, if you like. So we need titanium for them too. So we're going to have that titanium now. And another level down. We are going to have to figure something out about that. That's too, that's too time consuming to try and sort that out. So we'll have to put a little join somewhere. Oh, 
Oh, I know why I could have done it, but it's probably a bit too late now to do that. And a bit too dark. What I don't understand is how did that reach across to there, but this one did not. Of course, we're not going to be able to do anything with that now because. Okay, okay, it's all right. I've got an idea. Got an idea. I don't want to ruin the base, but I have got an idea here. We're going to have to get rid of the ladders in there, of course, but only for the time being. Just I don't like the idea at the moment of three ladders being connected together because it's just becoming a bit of a pain in the ass. I don't mind coming up, going straight into here, boom, into this section, and then it's just this bit coming down. So could I get used to it? Am I faffing around for nothing here? No, I'm not. I can't. I can't get used to it. Ugh, I don't know. I feel like I'm being fussy for the sake of being fussy. But either way, let's try. Let's try. And anyway, let's get over to the other pod when the sun's up and we'll go from there. Either way, we actually have to run around our base now. It's a good sign, no matter what way you look at it. Okay, deconstruct this part here. Deconstruct this part here. And let's see what we can do. So, for some reason, that is appearing red. Ah, I know why. It's this one here is in the way. Still appearing more red. Why? What is blocking you? What ails you? There's literally nothing in the way of that. Is there something on the other side stopping it from being there? Possibly. I'll tell you what, let's put the four way piece in. And let's see if somehow we can kind of trick this into going into the right position. Something is stopping that going there, and I don't know what, and it's bugging me. What about a different piece? Two-way piece? No. So it's nothing to do with the actual length of it. Something underneath here. Oh god, that looks a mess down there, doesn't it? Seek fluid intake. Let's go and grab a couple of these guys over in our little fish trap area. Just so that in the morning we can get over to... Um, I can hear it, but I can't see it. Oh, here we go. Where's our knife? Knife, knife, knife. Okay, let's catch these guys. Oh, looks just well. Yeah, we'll get over to the life pod. Don't need a hell of a lot of oxygen just for collecting these guys. Please stay still. Okay, all right. The rest of you guys. Come on, Gary, stay still.
little bit glitchy there. But we're all good. We're still we're still working. Right, let's get that bladder fish as normal. And then let's cook this bugger up. Where is he? I almost feel bad for that one. He kind of trusted me for a second. Right, let's eat them while they're fresh. Vital signs stabilizing. And you, I'm afraid, sir. You will not go to waste, I assure you. We'll take that crap down over there in a bit. But before all of that, we are going to go and check out this other little, uh, what is it, Pod 13. Here we go, check out Pod 13. There we go. Let's get some water made. We'll bring, uh, should bring with us. I forget what it's called, but we've made a tool in one of the previous episodes, and we'll bring that with us. That lifts and pulls and drags and whatnot. We'll bring that all with us. Vital signs stabilizing. I'll leave it at that. Oh yeah, how's our farm doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. In fact, we can actually harvest. Um, I feel like I'd be an idiot if I didn't make another little farm right now. But I'm also that much of an idiot that I don't actually have any room for a farm right now. So let's go up to second level and make this into a clut room as well. Oh, I picked the wrong farm there. Of course it did. That explained that one. One. Two, maybe? Oh, I had a feeling we'd run out before that. Oh. Take these ladders. Thank you. Climb down. Um, how much can we get out of these? A lot of Chinese potatoes. And we're going to get a hell of a lot of those as well. So, three lots of Chinese potatoes, and we only brought one seed back. No, we didn't. We brought more than that back, didn't we? I want all of this to be lantern fruit. I just like the look of it. And the amount you get off of it is mad. Titanium, I need two of you, I think. Don't worry, we are going to that other pod. It's still happening in this episode. I'm not saying in this episode we're going to be going back, but we are still going. Farming works. It's the way forward. Uh, I forgot. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. I'm back. I'm back. I'm going to bring both the mask and the cannon thing. Called. Propulsion cannon. So yeah, both of them are coming. Uh, okay, pod 13. That's 12. 19. Oh, hang on. What was that one down there? Proposed Degassi habitat. Don't know about that one. Oh, that's probably something that we found over on that other island. Okay. 13, there we go. It's quite far out. But not that far down. So let's be cautious. Now, although we're going over in this episode, as I said earlier, we will not be exploring it in this episode. We'll probably cut out just before that. So I'm going to... Um, same I could buy is probably at like 100 meters, but for now let's just 
enjoy this horrifying journey. I need to build a compass. That's on the to-do list. Okay. Now these waters, I don't think, are unknown to us just yet. Yeah, they're unknown to us. Some sort of weird alien hand. I don't like this. Oh god, it's alright, it's just me. Okay, we've got some weird stingrays that are glowing. It's kind of amazing. Okay, okay, right, we're pretty much here now. So this is the pod. So I'm going to say goodbye there. Thank you all for watching. And in episode 15, I think it is. Yep, yeah, episode 15, we're going to explore this pod and we're going to have a look around this area. Stay safe, everyone. I have no idea what's out here, and I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.